sub duelers it's in repair and I haven't really played much of duelists at all these past few weeks or past couple of weeks so hopefully I'm not too rusty just gonna play some ranked magmar today because uh, I think I haven't played with uh, this faction the longest on my YouTube channel uh, so sorry I missed a uh, few days uh, from the daily videos it might be hard for me to sustain that right now because I'm kinda busy at the moment but I'll get a couple games in today's video, or maybe one if it lasts over 20 minutes. And again, this is my Control Magmar deck. Um, my S rank uh, is probably pretty low now because since I played, I'm sure like the number of people in S rank like at least doubled. So it definitely would be a climb if I'm gonna make top 50 this month. I don't know how much time I'll have to play. But, uh, waiting to find a game here. Hate it when the game takes so long to, uh, uh, find. Because then the video just drags here. It's kind of annoying. <clears throat> Finally. Well, this finds a game faster than scrolls, which, um, I can't seem to find anybody online to play with at the moment. So, can't record a scrolls video when nobody's available. Okay, so I will get rid of those things. And I'm going first. So I could go Flash Reincarnation to Getty, but that's not smart. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the Saber's Mind Tiger, I think. Although that could be a play next turn. I have no idea what to get rid of. Do I dare not get rid of anything? I'm not going to get rid of the thing. Because I have a turn one play. And next turn, I can play a Tegeti if I move down here. I can play an Eggmore if I move down there. Um, maybe I should replace the Eggmore if actually thinking about it. First turn, I mean, I'm not going to get a high value Eggmore because he's not going to be able to play something huge yet. Um, I wanted to keep hold of the Saber Sun Tiger just in case this thing dies. I would need a three drop to play maybe. Young Silithar. And is that going to be it? Greater Fortitude. Okay then. Um, I could egg morph that. Do I really want to egg morph it? I mean, its total cost is three, and it its total cost is three. But he used two cards, and I'd be using one card on it, so it might be wise. Um, I could flash reincarnation back and but that wouldn't destroy this. So never mind. Yeah. I'm gonna egg morph. Hate to use an egg morph on it, but don't really see something better. I mean, I could play. I could do some other stuff, maybe with like Tigeti moving out the flash. I'll save that stuff. I'll just go for the simple play right now. Take this thing out, so I don't have to worry about a four or five just waltzing around. And yeah, so. He has actually access to both mana springs this turn very easily, so maybe I'll just play a 5 drop, like Spirit Harvester or something. What's he putting? What's he putting down? Save your spine. Okay, that's going to trade with that, and he still is. No, he's just going to hit me. He's going to be a little aggressive here, maybe. He's. That was interesting. I guess he had a really bad hand or something. Um, so, I think this is a turn I play my Silithar Elder, right? Like, I'm ahead. This could be a chance for me to play the Flash Reincarnation Silithar Elder, and he'd have to take care of it. It'd force his hand. So, I think I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, I'm going to move up here. First of all, let's just replace something. Uh, goodbye, Saber's fine. Tegeti. I mean, I could just play the Tegeti in my Bloodborne spell this turn. Nah, I think I think putting a lot of pressure on him by doing the Flash Elder is like really, really great. So I'm not really. I didn't really master how to make sure the egg doesn't spawn anywhere he can destroy it. Uh. Do I move? Back. 
Yeah, I'm gonna... Actually, I'm not gonna move back. I'm gonna move right in here. And it spawns back there. Awesome. What a perfect spawn. You can't reach out with his general. And he's at 5 mana, so I don't really have to worry about Macintor, although he could have a uh, Flash Reincarnation. I am in a perfect situation for Macintor. It's always good uh, to hit Frenzy things on an egg because he'll take no damage back. So hopefully he doesn't have Flash Macintor or or Flash uh, to Getty. Alright, Saber Signs are going to be able to take care of the egg. Ooh, he has that. Ugh, that's that hurts a lot. Well, he he needs to take out the elder. He can't let it live. So he's gonna take eight to his face. Nope, he's going. She's going straight for me. <laughs> Interesting choice. Um, hold on to. Do I just hold on to things? I think I do. Yeah, not sure what else. I mean, I I want to find it. Uh. A uh, healing thing, so I forgot what that's called. <laughs> I'll go ahead and replace. Get rid of the Tigeti, or do I get rid of the natural selection? Tigeti. There's an egg morph. Okay, that's good to have. Um, I think this turn I just play the Tigeti, I guess. Now I can deal a total of eleven to you, but that's I don't. I think I'm pretty controlly, so I'm gonna kind of run away. Run, run, run. Put this right here. And actually, I'm in another uh, great thing from the Macintor. <laughs> Ugh! Don't have another uh, <laughs> rush frenzy. Don't have another Saber Sun, Diretide Frenzy, or a Magazor War Beast. That is, I'm just playing right into that. I am not so good at this game. Not sure what I what I should have done to try to not play into that, but at least three cards in hand. Hopefully, we didn't just screw up big time. I'm starting to think the uh, Silver Elder is not so good against Magnar because Magmar B is a zero attack thing like an egg. It's perfect for hitting your frenzy unit. For using your frenzy unit to hit. Especially when it spawns in such a way that you can get maximum killage. Uh, at least Tegeti would be able to deal damage back. What does he have? What is he going to do? War Beast? War Beast. He had it. <laughs> Crap, I'm so bad. Why do I do such things to myself? The misplays. Okay, at least that thing dies. Oh, I do get the egg. I, I do get another egg. I forgot I get another egg. Okay, it's not the end of the world. I'm surviving. I'll get rid of the Repulsor Beast, I guess. Uh, Sworn Sisters is a pretty good top deck, I think. Um... So, do I hit him? Do I hit this general with mine? With this thing? Yeah, I think I do. It deals six damage. That's pretty good. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put this down here. Get an Earthwalker and a Fractal Replication. Um. Wow. Uh, that's a pretty cool card. I'll deal six or five or whatever it deals and then run to the corner. And I hope he doesn't have great stuff. If I can draw a flash, um, flash reincarnation then I can do some crazy stuff with uh, Mactor Orbeez and Fractal Replication. Actually, no, I wouldn't have 
That'd be too much mana. Even if I had nine mana, that wouldn't work. Never mind. I could just do a fractal replication on the Silithar Elder, and that would be a pain in the butt for uh, ultimates, ultimated spare to deal with. Um, what do I do? So, I could I could get rid of the Sojourner right now with a natural selection, but I mean it's really only. really only drawing in one card and then I can't play fractal replication this turn so never mind I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the fractal replication and I'll get rid of the earth walker I guess it's not gonna do much I guess I could put it in the back ooh so earth sphere earth sphere um, do I do the earth sphere right now I gotta do the practical application. That's just too cool. The whole board is gonna be filled right now. Um, I'm gonna attack it first. I'm not sure how this works. Like I'm afraid if I actually, I guess I'll actually just play it now, just in case the things would spawn with only seven health. Then <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> so many and all the eggs spawn out of his range okay <laughs> am I gonna have six uh, elders next turn fractal replication that is one cool card uh, so as long as I survive this turn I should be pretty set I mean looks like I'm gonna have a lot of cell with our elders he needs to put down a spirit harvester this turn to get rid of those eggs does he have one to Getty? So I can trade with an elder, but I have many. I can actually uh, get rid of that with a natural selection. Um. Okay. Oh, these don't spawn until the end of the turn, so I actually can't do natural selection. It's gonna be kind of a dead card for me. Um, so I could do Macintor War Beast. Do I want to do Macintor War Beast this turn? Not really. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the Flash Reincarnation. Although that wouldn't be the worst thing to do. No, I'll get rid of it. Goodbye, Flash Reincarnation. Repulsor Beast. Well, I'll start with the Earth Sayer because I'm worried about my health mainly. Okay, go up to 14 health, and now do I trade these two dudes? No, I think I, I think I, oh, the yeah, IA yeah, surrenders. I don't think he had a real chance coming back. I had more cards, and look at, I was going to have six Silver Elders at the end of the turn. Okay, so I made some positioning misplays against Frenzy there. Hey, look, top 100. <laughs> um, I made some positioning mistakes against Frenzy there, uh, but... I was able to win mainly because of that fractal and just having more cards for my Lakian. Gonna play some Kasiva this game. And what do I want to keep? Um, Agmorph could be used later, not now, and I'll get rid of the early Macintor. Okay. So this might be a tough win. I'm not sure how this deck does against Kasiva now that I think of it. Anything he puts down, I could do a uh, natural selection. Oh, well, he has no play. Okay. Um, goodbye, Elder. Yeah, Elder's pretty bad against it because of the Bloodborne spell, it just ping the eggs every turn, and it's like a shadow creep machine for her. Um, so it looks like my turn is not very, not very strong. Don't know whose position I'd rather be in right now, me or me or her. She had no play, but I had a very bad play. I guess I'm terrible, but 
Maybe I should have just gotten the mana spring because now, I, nah, it's fine. Just fine. I, I don't think uh, Kasip is gonna be able to get all three mana springs. So, Spectral Blade. Okay. Works like a worse arc like Regalia. At least in that instance. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, I'm not really too worried about that. I'll get rid of a, a Flash Reincarnation with Tegeti's good. Then again, do I just want to play the Spirit Harvester this turn? Not sure. She can, she can actually kill it with a some things. That stupid 4 attack on her is like annoying me. Um, I'll get rid of a Metamorphosis. Eggmore, well that doesn't really do a whole lot. I guess I'm just gonna tick that down and let her kill something. What do I want to let her kill? Um, the Spirit Harvester. Because the uh, Although, the Zagetti would deal more damage back, but maybe that was stupid of me. Okay, well at least the um, artifact is now gone, and I can get rid of the Kalino uh, with a natural selection or an Eggmorph. I may as well use a natural selection while I can. Um, and I can play it to Getty. So goodbye, young Silithar. Alright. These eggs are not good to play against you. And let's play the Tegeti. Alright. Then I'll play a natural selection. Okay, so things are I guess going okay now. Um, did have to kind of move down there and get out of the, uh, out of his face to, to get that mana, mana crystal, unfortunately. But it's okay, we have good removal for whatever he decides to bring out. Um, Sarlacc? Uh, eh. Well, this is kind of bad now, I don't have a play. I'll get rid of the... I'll keep the Flash Reincarnation in case I replace into something big. Do I get rid of Earth Sphere? I think I do. Because I need to keep these eggs. Because they're perfect for get rid getting rid of Warple Reapers. I need six cards. Like, perfect. Very happy with that, <laughs> that top deck there. Um, so where is this going to be able to attack things? Do I just like creep around so it can't touch me? Nah, that's stupid. I need to get in its face. Okay, so I have like no dispel for this thing. This thing's gonna be here for the entire game. Unfortunately, could be a shadow creep thing for him. But uh, I mean, I have two Tegetis on the board right now, so. That is probably a uh, worry sometime. They can deal a lot of damage. Okay, what's he gonna hit? Me? And please spawn like way back in the corner. Nope, oh, right there. Great. It's gonna make some shadow creep for himself. That eliminates the possibility of like, all right, good. So at least it's all the way over there. Um, he can just bring it back probably with a ritual banishing. Well, that is annoying. I hate the Sarlacc. Sarlacc the Immortal. The Eternal, not the Immortal. Um, no use in a Repulsor Beast, dang it.
Well, by no other play, so I guess we're egg morphing this thing. <laughs> Am I really gonna egg morph a Sarlacc? Yeah, why not? I don't have another play, so. And do I take one damage on what? Um, I'll take one on my general. Because I have an egg. I have a uh, thing in hand. I'll get these out of a Shadow Nova range together. Okay. So, had to use an egg morph on that thing. Because I had no other play. What what are you gonna do? Plasma Storm gets rid of my Tegeti. Probably not gonna be a good card in this point of the game. It's not like I'm playing Lilith. I'm gonna be seeing some bigger threats now. Like Spectral Revenants. Spectral Revenant here wouldn't be too bad. Okay, Shadow Nova number one. And I'm gonna take six to the face. Uh, which is bad. Not sure how I'm gonna win this game. I can't like to dispel those things. An Earth Sphere can only go so far. I'm gonna need to somehow do some big things. Okay, goodbye. I have double Earth Sphere, but I'm not drawing any units, which is a bit of an issue. Um, and I have to like navigate around here then, which is annoying. Have to navigate. I could go for another Earth Sphere. Nah, that wouldn't be using it to its full potential. Spirit Harvester. Okay, I moved on top of him so it's harder for uh, Rigged to be able to protect itself with a bunch of Shadow Creep. Spectral Blade, okay, I guess you're gonna trade there, and a Blood Moon Priest. Well, now. Now I wish I had that, um. That. Whatever it's called. Plasma Storm. Well, I guess it's fine. Spirit Harvester can take care of that, and then I can hit this with my general. Um, I think I get rid of the Flash Reincarnation now. Solithar Elder. Well, if I play Solithar Elder, it's just. I can't, yeah. I can't. It's just gonna get unlimited Shadow Creep. It will be an 8 8, so. If I need to, I could always play it, but I don't think this is the time. Um. So I guess I. It's so hard to navigate around here. Do I do I even move? I think I do. I guess I'll kill this. And then I'll play the thing here. And I could Earth Sphere. I think that's a little premature. Or would I lose to another Shadow Nova now? I'm gonna go with my Bloodborne spell. I think it's important for me to use that every turn because I think my best shot at winning this game would be with like my general hitting him. Actually, does he have lethal now with another Shadow Nova? One, two, three, four, five, six, so it would be ten plus four, no, not lethal. Okay. Well, I still have an egg more for if he puts down something big. Um, and now I'm kind of, the shadow creep kind of is hard for me to get around. I don't think my deck is, have, is well equipped to face this deck, to be honest, but that's not an excuse. It looks like I'm losing this game regardless. I could play the Salthar Elder. No, I can't. That would be stupid. Only gonna play Solar Elder if I can like really like get in his face with it. But like the Spirit Harvest is like kinda of to the side here because all this shadow creep is here, so I couldn't really do that. 
Um, he's a Macintor War Beast, maybe. Maybe Sabershine Tiger. I gotta. I'm gonna win this. I need to win it soon. Like, even though I have more health than uh, her, it's gonna go down really quickly. The second Earth Series is gonna be crucial. Another Bubble Moon Priest. Dark Transformation. Okay. And. Now. Do I use this Egg Morph? No. Why would I do that? That'd be really stupid. I'm gonna hit this. And then I guess I just play that. I'll get rid of the Flash Reincarnation, I guess. Repulsor Beast. No. Okay, so I don't really have much of a choice this turn. I gotta play the Solithar Elder. Uh. So, I hate the position I'm in, like, I he's protecting himself with the Shadow Creep so well, I can't walk towards him. This is going to be a really tough way to game if, if I'm going to win. Yeah. Considering just surrendering now. Like, I have no idea how I'm going to be able to win this. Like... The egg is dead. I mean, it's just gone. Um, and now I actually force myself to place it right here, which just is stupid to place there because then it's gonna the egg's gonna spawn on Shadow Creep already. I guess that means he can't get any more Shadow Creep with his uh, pinging. <sighs> the only way I'd be able to win, I, yeah, that, that's like a loss there. The only, the only way I was going to be able to win this is with him being stupid and like going near my general and me hitting it a couple times, but now he'll be smart and not walk into me. This is why I... Yeah, I'm going to lose in just a second. I don't think this game's going anywhere. It's probably kind of boring right now, so... Glad if it ended like right now. Because so I can't really walk anywhere. I have to walk down here, which is not too good. Um, so let's do it like this then. So I have to be able to kill this. So you die. Um, Earth Sphere because, nah, if he has a, another Shadow Nova, I'm dead anyways, so I'm going to go for an Overload, not Earth Sphere yet. Okay, surviving. Shadow Nova, GG. Well played. Well, well, the first game lost the second game. I guess uh, the Earth Sphere uh, would have saved me, but I think I still would have lost. Wasn't that close either than the health seemed. So that'll be it for today. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content. I will see you next time. Keep on dueling, duelers.